what's going on guys so in the last video we created a root folder aka a library on our external hard drive in this video we're going to talk about uploading media now you can upload media straight from a desktop you can i mean plug in your sd card your camera get your media to your desktop wherever it is uh but i highly recommend not doing it from a desktop even though you can i mean this could be a good course of action if you have like a super short project but let me show you why i don't do this so say i've got three videos right here i've got backyard uh, Bruising Gangs, one of my other YouTube channels, and then uh, the Village Park Source channel I just created. Just like that. That's as easy as that as we uploaded it. We could have gone to right-clicked on here. We could have clicked Import Media just like that. Uh, we can go up to the top and click on Import just like that, or you could just drag it and drop it just how I did it. But what happens if you clean your desktop up and uh, you're not done with your project yet, or even if you are done with your project and you want to go back and make changes someday. Well, this is what happens. So take this, what we just brought into Final Cut Pro 10, and I drag it all the way down here to my trash can. Now, I haven't deleted it. I haven't permanently deleted it from my trash can, but now it's gone. It doesn't know where to source the files in. What I highly recommend doing is I recommend putting all the files on an external hard drive. Like I said in the last video, I can't stand when I have a ton of movie footage, MP4s and .movs on my Macintosh HD just eating up my hard drive and slowing my computer down. Yeah, you can do that. Um, what I would do is just create a folder, just call it, we'll call this three pictures, three movies, just like that. And let's put these three videos in there just like that. Now we've got this. Now it all depends on where you want to put it. Well, I want to put it on my external hard drive because that's where I created the library in the last video. Again, I am the biggest advocate for putting all of your movies on external hard drives. It will, it will immensely preserve the shelf life of your computer. Uh, it's going to make it run a lot faster as well. So what you can do, yeah, there's no right or wrong. You can go ahead and put three movies in. Um, you can click on, let's go to documents and we'll go to show in a closing folder and say we want to put it in our pictures just like that. There's no problem with that, but I don't want, or, or on your movies, I'm sorry. You can put it anywhere you want it. It's not a problem. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put this folder on my external hard drive. Sup, baby? Just like that. So here we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on Village Park Source. Keep in mind, you can put it wherever you want. Uh, but just to keep it kind of a little bit more distinguished and a little bit more orderly, I'm going to go off the last video where we created our libraries. This library we created is on our external hard drive as well. I'm going to click on Final Cut Pro 10 libraries, uh, first library. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just going to call it images. Again, if you're doing, if you have do not have that much movies. You do not have that much media. You might not want to be as orderly as me, but uh, I've got OCD through the roof. So what I'm going to do is type in first event um, movies. And I've got the three movies. One of my crappy backyard you'll see in a second. One of me doing probably some more weird stuff. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and put the movies in here. So now we've got these images on our external hard drive. I can delete it now for my desktop, which I probably will, because I don't want to have two of the same, exact same thing. Uh, I've already got it on my external hard drive. There's no reason for me to have it on, I mean, if you want to put it on another external hard drive or you know, store it or something like that, I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna get rid of this. I've got it on my external hard drive. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this. So now I can't read that, so let's go ahead and pull it in. Let's go to import media. And now we just got to track it down. And we go look at the, some things over here. Uh, add to existing event first event. Yeah, that's what we want to do. That's exactly where we want to pull these three movies into uh, leave files in its place. Yeah, this pretty much means like we're pretty much sourcing to our finder like where it is on our external hard drive copy to library that's going to defeat the whole purpose of what I just talked about. Yeah, we'll get our three movies in there, but it's going to save it to our Macintosh HD hard drive. So I'm going to leave it, leave the files in place. And as long as I don't mess with this and move this around, I'm going to be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm on set baby right now and I'm in village park source. We were on final cut pro libraries and what did we put it in first library? No, where'd we have it? First movie events. What was it called? First, 
first event movies. There it is. So I'm going to source all three of these in just like that. And there we have it. We have these three movies right here and they're not on our Mac hard drive anymore. They're on my external hard drive. Now here's a quick glimpse of my crappy backyard. Looks like pet cemetery. Awful. All right, guys, good luck with that. So again, you can, it's easy to upload media to Final Cut Pro 10, put it in a folder, either stash it on your hard drive or more importantly, put it on an external hard drive. Keep your big files off your Macintosh hard drive, HD. That's it, guys. That's how you upload videos. In the next video, we're going to talk about, I think audio, I think audio. Anyways, I'll see you over there. Good luck.